Hey guys, this is Puka bringing you another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. This time I'm going to be facing Bumble Camaro, aka Igor Costa, the uh, the world champion. You might know him. Uh, yeah, he just won the recent world championship in Hawaii, and I get a fun game against him here. So I was just kind of playing a casual game with my Flips deck. This wasn't even on Bad Deck Monday, it was just randomly I got paired against him. People wanted me to play this deck on stream, so I played it, and this is the result. So he's going to go first. Looks like he's playing a real deck, which is bad for my Flips deck, because my deck is not real. <laughs> Um, basically all I try to do is, you know, flip heads. And, um, yeah, just, that's about it. Flip heads. And then do a bunch of damage or knock things out with, uh, Gothitelle's Doom Decree, which instantly knocks out a Pokemon if you get two heads. So you see the Victini and the Gothita in my hand already. And I start with the Mew. So this should be an interesting game. Um, uh, I'm kind of scared right off the bat because he gets to go first. Mew EX is a really fragile Pokemon that just, uh, ugh. it's got 120 hit points, so if he gets two energy, uh, or two lightning on that Rayquaza by the next turn, he can Dragon Burst for the knockout. He's already got a lightning in his discard pile, so, I mean, it would take a bunch of cards, like, uh, a Switch, an Electric, another Lightning Energy, and then another Switch, so, um, I'm not too worried about it, but... It certainly could happen that he gets a turn 2 Dragon Burst for a knockout, especially now that he's using an Ultra Ball, getting another Lightning in the discard, maybe he'll get another Rayquaza EX or something like that, and this would just be bad. So who knows? Uh, unfortunately, Ultra Ball does not show your opponent what you get, which is kind of silly, because it clearly states on the card that you should, but whatever reason, um, you don't. But I'm going to go level ball and uh, just going to take a look through my deck. And you know what? Uh, I think it's just time to V-Blast, honestly. I know doing 100 damage really doesn't do much. It's pretty much all or nothing with this deck. Like, you get two heads or you do zero damage. <laughs> um, so you want to have your massive attacks be as, I mean, impactful as possible. And right away, Igor says, <laughs> you're playing the flips deck. And uh, I was actually pretty shocked that he actually knew what I was playing. He's actually seen it before, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, we're just going to try to V-Blast right on the first turn. Get double tails, but I get to use Victory Star to reflip and whoa, two heads. So we're starting off strong for 100 damage with the V-Blast. Minus 20 for the Eevee Light, so only 100. And yeah, I mean, this, I mean uh, that's only the first set of flips. If I get another double heads on V-Blast, though, that'll be a knockout on that Rayquaza, unless he knocks me out this turn. Uh, so he plays an N. He doesn't have any electric yet, so that's a plus. And, you know, I, I honestly could knock him out next turn. <laughs> uh, if I get double heads with another V-Blast. It's possible. Uh, it's not likely, but it's possible. But, you know, this is still going to be an extremely tough matchup. Even if I take down the Rayquaza, like, he's got, I have to take a lot more prizes. <laughs> so, that's the real downfall of this deck. Even if you get a couple of lucky flips, you still have to get even more lucky flips. Otherwise, you don't get anywhere. But, that's alright. I'm going to throw down this Gotharita here. So, I'll be having a, a Doom Decree Gothitel out pretty shortly. And, uh, that will be pretty useful, I think. I'll we'll just put an energy on the Gothrita as well. I need to power that up. Because I got a feeling I'm going to need to start using Doom Decree here to start attempting to <laughs> knock out his Pokemon. But if I get a double heads here on V Blast, I can get a knockout. It's not too likely, but whoa! Hey! Oh! Ho oh, ho! Two more heads. So, turn two, that's a knockout on a Rayquaza EX with V Blast. <laughs> Uh, so this is the joy you can have with the flips deck. Sometimes you just flip heads and everything goes your way. Um, a lot of the time, that's not what happens at all. But on these rare instances where you start flipping heads like crazy, this deck becomes actually pretty strong. Um, I mean, uh, turn two, I've taken two prizes already. Pretty much anything can happen. 
And, um, you know, I could still very well lose from here. He says this is not funny. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it is kind of funny. Let's be honest. Uh, but he does play an N. It's going to put me at four cards. But I draw a pretty nice hand. I get the Juniper and a Gothitelle. So, uh, I'm looking forward to my next couple turns here. And he catches out my Chansey. Now, if you watch some of my previous videos, you'll know that Chansey is a killer. It took down a Garchomp in one hit by flipping six heads with Continuous Tumble. And it's a big mistake. He is my secret weapon. Uh, he's not even a secret weapon anymore. He's just my best weapon. So I draw a double colorless and a plus power as well. So all I need to do is flip one heads for the Continuous Tumble. And I will knock out this Tynamo. And we'll take three prizes in three turns. Uh, now, now think about how absurd that is on a deck based purely on flips. Uh, I get one Tails, but I get to reflip for the Victory Star, and alright, two heads this time, so it's going to knock out a Tynamo, too. What are the odds of this happening? <laughs> uh, I get another Victini out of my prize, so three prizes in three turns. Not bad. And Igor does not seem to have much going for him. Still hasn't gotten any Electric out, uh, but, like... As I say there in the chat, don't worry, I'll flip tails eventually. And when that happens, I can just completely lose the game. Um, it's really all there is to it. If I start flipping tails, I start not doing any damage. <laughs> and that means I start to lose the game. And that's bad. <laughs> but Igor is going to Volt Bolt and actually target down my Victini. He says, no, no, no. No more of that double flipping nonsense. <laughs> I am just taking that out of play. So now I cannot use Victory Star anymore. Just kind of doomed to uh, just flip once from here on out. He says no more second tries. <laughs> so this turn I'm definitely going for a Doom Decree. Uh, why wouldn't I? I mean, I can knock him out <laughs> if I flip two heads. I have a random receiver and an Ultra Ball. Uh, I decide to hold on to that until next turn. And Doom Decree, uh, just, you know, see, one heads, one tails. This is just what can happen. Um, you have to flip two heads for this to work at all. <laughs> and that's just not very likely. So he's going to play a switch, and gets a Sky Arrow out there so he can free retreat back to his Raikou. All he needs is another Lightning. And he can Volt Bolt me once again. And I'll probably be in some trouble. But, you know, I'm going to go for that Doom Decree, as I'm pointing out. That's really my only plan from here on out, is to Doom Decree. Uh, I could have played Random Receiver the previous turn, but uh, I'm actually just going to hold on to my hand for now. I don't really need anything else besides my uh, my Victini, which next turn I should be able to just Ultra Ball and get it. Uh, I didn't want to discard two energy, and I also didn't want to discard... Um, my random receiver. So I just wanted to wait a turn. It wasn't an urgent need. And it looks like he's going to catch up the Gothitel and Thunderfang. Which was an interesting play. Um, I didn't really expect that. <laughs> I guess he really wants to take out the Doom Decree guy now. But uh, he says, no heads for me. I thought he was just going to... Um... Well, I guess he couldn't. Okay. Uh, I, I was thinking he would Volt Bolt my Mew. But he didn't have the cards to do that, so never mind. So now I'm going to Ultra Ball, discarding an N and the Prism to get my Victini back. And this is a very big turn. Uh, if I can Doom Decree this turn for a knockout. Oh boy. <laughs> and let's see, I draw uh, some decent stuff and, he, and he's saying, no, no, not the Victini again. Uh, yeah, I'll be able to pull off some stuff here, I think. I'm going to attach to the Gothitelle. I can switch into Mew or just attack with this, but I'm going to just attack with this apparently. I get to reflip. Uh, the one and one was not good, and what? Really? <laughs> Two more heads, alright. So we're down to one prize here against the world champion with, uh, with Doom Decree and V-Blast. Let that one sink in for a second. This guy, um, he won worlds, and now we're beating him with a field of... Gothitelle, Mew, Victini, Victini, Chansey, Gothita. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys, but uh, that Doom Decree was huge. I'm down to one prize. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I just need two more heads, and I win the game. 
That's really all it's come down to here. Just two heads, and it's game over. So he's going to Thunder Wave me and paralyze me, but uh, I was lucky enough to draw a switch off of my one card from N. Uh, and normally that wouldn't be lucky, but in this situation it was. So I'll get to switch this turn and attack again. And if I get two heads, I actually win <laughs> with the flip stack against the real deck. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to just switch to Mew. And I need to see which attack do I need. Uh, I can V-Blast, Doom Decree, Continuous Tumble, or um, I can also Double Slap. Any two heads on any of those is a, is a game ender. So I'm actually going to go Double Slap, because you know if I get one heads and one tails, that's fine. But uh, two, really? I Wait. <laughs> double Slap? I won? Hey, I won. <laughs> uh, so... I just won with the flip stack against Igor. This was a very strange moment for me. Um, a very entertaining moment for everyone that was watching, but a very strange moment nonetheless, which just shows you that, you know what, no matter what happens, if you flip enough heads, you can always win. And that's exactly what happened here. So, thanks for watching, guys. This strange game where I flipped a bunch of heads and flips ended up beating the world champion. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and a very strange game. Flipping conquers all, apparently, and I'll see you guys for the next one.